Hey, mop head. Hey, Karen. Hello, hello, Il Gambetto. Hey, Malta Free. Um, yeah, I'll just use sensor. Which list do you play multi free the, the Jessica list? <clears throat> mm, yeah, I forgot there's nothing. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how much better a deck feels when you're not just playing a. I could lapse first, right? Because the problem is I if I deal judgment. Then I'm if they play a big frets, I'm stuck with a bunch of laps in hands. Whereas this is much better since they basically have no pressure buying myself time. Yeah, almost always cycle sensor even in these spots. Might as well lapse it, right? Save me two damage. Sets for recall. Um, all right, let's see what they do, I guess. What is Salvato plus place crabbing claws? Just graveyard hate and it's good with Lurus, I guess. Why Jessica over blue white? Because of lightning helix. I think blue white might be good. Might be better than straight, oh, or yeah, straight, uh, straight blue white might be better. You'd have no cards in hand. No point in casting Brainstorm right away. Nice, we dodged uh, the one scary turn. Um, I'm just gonna, just gonna see go. Not play the land since I have Brainstorm and not play Brainstorm right away to not Brainstorm lock myself. Okay, right away. Save every point possible point of damage. All right, I think this is a spot where you should cast Brainstorm. I haven't like come close to Brainstorm locking myself. Like I've, I've been in that spot like 10 or 15 times and it's never been like, you know, land, land, break, or whatever. Same in the early turns. Every time I've, I've, got, I've been pretty lucky with Brainstorm so far. Like every time I've cast a Brainstorm early in the, in the game, I think I found the lands I needed. All right. Is that card doing anything? What did I cut for it? Does anyone remember? So it's, it's a fog. Basically a fog. All right, do I want to fetch first? only have one basic left. Even though you have Brainstorm, I think this is a spot where it's probably good to fetch first. You know what? I'm dumb. I have Prismari Command in my deck. That was bad. Don't just cast Memory. 
I think I can maybe wait one turn to cast memory since we know they're breaking. Oh, never mind that oasis. Huh. Yeah, I guess I have to do it now. What am I hoping to draw though? Eight mana, I'll have four mana. I don't have anything that deals with a questing beast. Four mana, instant speed. Oh, I can tuck and memory, duh. But they have so many haste creatures. Wait, why would I tuck first? Why not memory first and see what I draw? I mean, I could just draw, hope to get lucky. And if they really want to sack Oasis, it means that when I memory next turn, they'll have one less land. I'm going to draw first. Whatever. Not a land. Casting memory is just really scary. I guess all I had to draw was one memory lapse. All right, I've I've officially decided I played that game atrocious. After using all my time banks, top of everything. I don't know why I'm so scared to cast memory. If I tuck, all I really need is a memory lapse and I'm pretty much good to go. Oh, well, it looks like I'm going to be fine. Oh, definitely going to be fine now. Actually, I might want to play search first. The only downside is they have uh, Ember land plus Emberclave. That would be ugly. No more basics, obviously. I might turn and be a bit easier. Yeah, I don't know why I was so scared to cast memory it was two mana up. Probably wasn't that bad. Maybe taking sensor is better, just cycle try to find it to fairy. Which of these is the le le less terrible one? Oh, why not memory now is not set in play? I just totally forgot. <coughs> Has protection. First first game I played with it and it was uh it was pretty good for me, yeah. I just played it, it was Teferi out, it was you know, kind of a fog. Fog that worked fog that works against questing beasts, I guess. Pretty big deal. I don't need red mana. 
Nope. Well, I'm gonna brainstorm. I should brainstorm now. All right, I jinxed it. This thing has it has wasn't already getting brainstorm locked. It's not really brainstorm locked though, but. Is the title correct? Yeah, absolutely. Can't you see that I'm recording the my podcast? Um, I can play in our set here. Trade protection for five lands. It's kind of nice string. Keep protection for the turn I played the fairy. Well, oh, agreed. Since I have protection in hand, I think it might be fine. Ah, uh, just giving me a free Narset activation. A bald move. Arna likes search in this matchup. I think he's wrong, but he says it's good. Um, I think search is pretty bad on the draw. I think Narset's just better. Because in the late game, like when you're in top deck mode, Narset is kind of like search. And I think in the early turns, Narset is probably better than search. All right, I don't need to counter that, right? I don't live in Paris, but I lived in Paris for the first 34 years of my life or whatever. Recommendations area. There's almost no bad areas in Paris, honestly. I mean, there's a couple bad neighborhoods, but I mean, it depends on your budget. <laughs> Where I used to live is nice. It was kind of like, you know, a little, like, a little hipster, I guess, but... I don't know, Paris is just super nice in general. Hard hard to really go wrong. What to play in this list instead of Prismari command? Literally anything, I don't know. Electrolyze. I will say command has been good. I've gotten multiple times a creature and a number cleave. I've gotten the Great Hench once or twice, so there's actually some relevant artifacts to kill in this format. That that part's been nice. You could play Electrolyze, you could play more Shark Typhoons, you could play more Sensor. All these cards are very good, I think. Yeah, protection has been decent both games. It's done that, which is like fine. Second source of red would be nice. Oh, never mind. Um, I should. Well, but if I use these two removal spells, then I don't have an instant speed removal spell left, anyways. Not really helping me. All right, I guess I'll just wrap the god. Hey, Christoph, thank you so much for the the raid. I do appreciate it. 
I did not take it for granted, but daily class, yeah, I know, I know. Don't feel like you have to for some reason, but I, I do appreciate it. Welcome everyone. Yeah, only one mountain. How many questing this is that? It's only the second one. All right, is there a reason to kill on my turn? I guess I could make like two damage and make a, a token treasure. I'm sure 10 people pointed it out. We can just make a treasure chat, it's okay. Yeah, no, I totally missed it for some reason. Um, well, that was a bit embarrassing, it's fine. If I kill it on my turn, they can have another one, but I guess I wanna, now I really wanna, I should have led was the other one. I could make them discard two cards if I wanted to. Huh. Nah, my hand's too bad. If my hand was better, that'd be pretty legit. Alright, we drew a memory lapse. Nothing? Five out of company? <clears throat> I'm not sure what to do here. Maybe cycling sensor is fine. Oh, made a small mistake. I should have floated a mana. Minus one mana, keg W. And it tapped my one source of red, one of my one, two sources of red. Cast Brainstorm. Hmm. Get Cast Brainstorm and then I have Prismari Command as a backup, I guess. Or I could dig first and then brainstorm. Alright, that's nice little insurance. Hope I don't end up losing because it tapped my one mountain instead of my 16, one of my 16 blue eyed dual lands. Hmm. Kind of. Oh no, never mind, that creature doesn't have haste, right? Making them discard two is pretty tempting, honestly. But I do have two lands on top. have in hand yeah memory lapse is insane it's extremely good it's better than counter spell and remand like big amount of the time i said during the podcast i should start keeping track of how how often uh memory lapse was better than counter spell and remand But I'm obviously not going to do it. 
Speaking of, probably don't want to shock myself to kill 11 runner, just memory lapse. A spell. Mm. I guess I'm not in a rush. I'll use sensor. Oh, we've got a nice, uh, nice spammer. No. Um, well, I guess I'll just slap it since apparently didn't. Hmm. I kind of, I kind of want to kill the bow mat and not the lava runner with my lightning helix. Bow mat could be a problem. I'm gonna take more damage from lava runner. They're probably gonna have another burn spell. I guess I can memory lapse a burn spell. Shenemir, thank you so much for the tier one. 15 months was a tier one, appreciate it. <clears throat> I guess there's a nice synergy here. You can lapse a spell and then let them attack with Bowmet Courier to get rid of it if you want to. I think I should do it, just saves me a lot of life. <clears throat> All right, we're in trouble. Hindsight, I wish I hadn't played that Triome. It's pretty rare, though. Usually, it works out all the way around. You don't play it and you end up shocking at some point because you know, like, it's... I'm at like six damage just here. Oh wow. Yellow hat, wow. Okay. Keep passage because of brainstorm. Lightning Helix is just so huge in these matchups. 100% the difference between winning and losing in a lot of these games where it was like eliminate or fatal push. <clears throat> so red's kind of a meta call. Lightning Helix also just finishes the Narset, finishes up at Teferi. It's not like totally dead in control matchups. But oh, they're actually going after Teferi. Yeah, I like that play if they can finish it off, I think. Kind of makes sense. Pretty rare that a burn player goes after a Teferi like that, but could be right. Fortunately for them. Oh yeah, it's nice, I know. Sensor, I think it's better here. I'm gonna cycle right away. I don't think there's anything I can really draw.
mean, I kind of want to keep making my land drops. Oh, should have used commit, let them know. Pretty much the same sideboarding as against Gorilla, I guess. Maybe Sensor is a bit worse in this matchup. How do I get rid of the Hazorat once it's in play? Dust the Fairy and commit. Hmm. I'll do the one ECD. No, my deck's a bit too expensive. Cut a wrath. Yeah, maybe on the draw you don't need four with all the lightning helix. I don't mind that. Maybe a second typhoon. Marionette's Rainstone Lightning he likes all rare wild cards yeah to be fair there are better than these cards are much better than most rares so it's not like the most egregious thing like Wizards has ever done it doesn't feel that dirty but I do uh I guess I do empathize anyways What land do I even get here? It sounds weird, right? Falls? I think I like the island suggestion. I have like Glacial Fortress and stuff I can draw to. No, yeah, I guess for some reason I thought I was gonna do that and have Mary Laps up. All right, I kind of blew it. Sorry, Get Smart. I don't know why I listened to uh, Rando on Twitch chat instead of you. No, it's my fault. I'm teasing Rando on Twitch chat. Who said who said Island turn on? Who's getting banned? <laughs> no, it was my fault. I don't know. I was kind of just not rethinking. Just gave up. It's not sure I'm stuck in white yet, I guess. I'll just let you know that we did great without you get smart. Your services are no longer needed.
Yeah, they only read up because they played Burning Tree. Seemed kind of questionable at the best. Got body bodyguard Kang looking out for me. This is a spot where elapse is so much better than a counter spell. You're just absolutely delighted that you just draw a terrible two two every turn. They don't get closer to six mana. I mean, this is one example amongst many. I mean, I guess to be fair, if I had Counterspell, I would let it result in Lightning Helix hit, but... Do I have Planeswalker in my yard? I don't. Hmm, sure. As advertised. Just never locked. I'm saving all the bad brainstorms for MPL, MPL weekend. Just get wrecked when I need it the most. Then historic. Sounds yummy. Green white company. Not my kind of deck, but I'm sure that deck's good. Could just try straight up blue white. I don't know, I need to get to high mythic. Maybe I should keep playing this deck because I think it's pretty decent to get to, to mythic. There's a lot of aggro, it's just a solid deck overall, too. Damn Turbo Fog, how to get to mythic in the slowest possible way and just lose it all to Questing Beasts. Uh oh. Mirror match. Oh God. Yes, I get to resolve a search. It's not that bad. Scrybug, hello. If I minus it, it might get Helix though. It's not like I'm in a rush to use it. Just let it chill. Are a bit too tempting. I can just slap helixes for now. Great. It's kind of nice they can't tap out. Jesus Christ. I guess six lands to the bottom, but also my one castle. Oh, that was brutal. I need to brainstorm badly. Brainstorm in a passage. I have for Samari commands, you know. I have Absorb in their deck. So we're not playing a pure mirror match.
actual ancestral recall, kind of. All desperate. I think I just have to fight over it and hope for the best. Because I've got so little going on. I'll plus now since we know they have a good card on top. Also, they might just have another Helix. Sorbs Greedy and Jeskai Mana Base. I think I have Sorbs Rife Fine actually in Jeskai Mana Base. I have one basic mountain. Healing's turn two is just as hard, if not harder, than Absorb on turn three. And since you're already not playing Field of Rune because you can't afford to. Time Warp. Okay. That was better than 5 mana explorer because they had a Skanta in play, but I mean, obviously any 5 mana card would have been decent there. Alright, I need my own search, I guess. That could do. I wonder if I should just play another to fairy. Probably not. I'm not sure how I'd beat Surge though. Maybe I can burn them out. Oh, White Castle, that's huge. That could be my out. Got him. Which one would I play between Absorb and Sight coming? Probably absorb just because the life is pretty relevant in this format. Why not? If they use their Vita, honestly, it's not a bad deal. Couldn't care less. Wait, I could have made a 1-1? One, one? Oh my god. Oh, that was awful. Oh. Oh well. It's not the end of the world, but... Honestly, not great. Their turn is interesting. Do they draw the card with our set? Actually, I don't even know. They don't, right? Of course, while well, I still have a retention, a ton of great ways to support the stream. You can follow the channel, you can even sub, especially with Amazon Prime. You kind of sub for free. You can check out my awesome sponsors, Channel Fireball, Ultimate Guard, and for the month's NordVPN. If you need a VPN, you get a pretty big discount with code YellowHat. 
And if you use code yellow hat on the other sites, that helps me out. I get a I get a small commission. All right. So I think I just probably want a plus and double helix. Maybe start with our set. Or is that too good of a bait? I guess Nars said before I draw, maybe. Give that memory lapse. I guess I don't really care about Teferi. I could just use be greedy and use one lightning helix for now. Alright, let's draw first. Speaking of greed, I didn't play that trial last turn. Can't decide if I should play it or not. How many Helix gone? Just the two. I'll use our set anyways. It's gotta be commit, right? All right, I'll play my land. I guess they do, they do get to activate search twice. Oh well, that was bad. Sure. Will I play this many sweepers in League Weekend or Championship? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't think MPL players are especially fond of playing control decks. I should have just he likes that to fair right away. That was bad. It's kind of greedy and I missed out on one damage. Let's see. So I have laps to back up my memory. Am I even in a rush? I mean, I can do Prismari command, make them discard too. But I could easily lose my Narset if I wait too long. Eleven mana. I could target them with Prismari Command now. That would be the super greedy play. Yeah, I mean, their hand is probably bad and they get to like rebuild really fast. But my top two cards are bad as well. I guess I could Narset. All right, I'm just gonna Narset and say go. The sweepers are probably going to be good at some point for them because I've, I'm making these tokens. Don't do it, opponent. Not like this. I never know if I'm supposed to say sorry or if I face sorry, it feels like more Robins. The 
Is it a good game? Nah, that's just mean. Unless they give me the good game first, but... Man, Helix was kind of awesome this game. Oh, that card's probably not very good. Um, the Fairy's kind of sketch against nar opposing Narsets. Do I want Teferi Master of Time or Lightning Helix? The sensor should be bad. Sensor is okay. It's a way to counter if you're on the play and want to play turn free Narset. Sensor is fine. It helps you hit land drops. Yeah, Helix has been that's pretty good against Narset. Even Teferi and stuff. Teferi is not as good after sideboard when you don't have dead cards in your deck. But it can still be pretty good. Yeah. Most of people in my chat are mythic, and those who are not mythic are only not mythic because they're too busy uh, getting their PhD or because they're actual doctors saving the world. My chat is kind of decent. This is a tricky spot. Should we just play Triome and then if we play Narset, we get to play our own Narset? I kind of want to cycle that anyways. All right, I'm just gonna go. I'm, I'm repping dispute chat. I'm not mythic because I watched Gavin instead of playing the game. Yeah, it's surprisingly nice to just watch someone play the game you like rather than play it yourself. I've been doing a lot of that recently. All right. I mean, I did the same thing yesterday. This is like the kind of hands where, you know, you, you put good old Bob on the, the stereo and you start jamming. E easy clap. All right. I'll use it. Even if it dies to Helix, not the end of the world. That was pretty surprising though. I didn't expect that to just resolve. I wonder if they were actually playing around this or if they just don't have Narset. Or I just didn't have it. Which games I've been watching? I watched Dota 2 and StarCraft 2. It used to be just Dota 2 and I got into StarCraft recently. Replaced an addiction to Dota 2 as an addiction to... No, I mean StarCraft is okay. It's not as fun as Dota. Plus I, I, I'm already like kind of plateauing after a week. So I don't know how long I'm going to be playing. I come for you to play with my account and become mythic. Well, first of all, it's against TOS, but I don't know. I'd have to figure out an hourly raid and whatnot. Oh, thanks. I kind of needed these lands. <sighs> I think I should just heal X, right? Because even if they have Teferi, Just not that big of a deal. Quietly, Lightning Helix just the best card in your deck because it's your only cheap removal. It's cheap and it's removal. Kind of another argument for Jeskai against Esper. Because in Esper you have Eliminate, which is nice, and Fatal Push for Shark Tokens, but Helix has been really good this match. Alright, well, they can kill it. <clears throat> Plus one mana. Alright, I'm gonna. Play it safe and just say go, make a shark. You 
Even though we kind of know they're probably light on counter spells, right? Uh oh. What's that about? The fairy plus counter spell protection? Oh, maybe this way they can play for dispute. Time warp. Was not set in play. It's actually kind of annoying. I'm a bit worried. I'll just counter it. Looks like they don't have much in hand. I kind of want to hold on to it, but I'm not sure. Sorry, right, I'll unmute for everyone's favorite sound. No, I don't have the water bot to remind the one that reminds you to drink water. Am I feeling good today? I am still have a tiny bit of allergy. I've still been like coughing a bit, but I feel good, yeah. All right, a little greed, but I think greed is good in that spot. These are pretty strong cards, obviously. Not sure there's a point in playing Brainstorm right away. That's making a land drop is nice. I'll play Brainstorm right away. Especially if they memory next turn. These guys are all pretty good. I'm assuming I should just keep them all. Oh god. Wow. That was crazy good draw. I just have ECD on top if they don't find a counter spell. At least we don't know what they have in hand, so I'm kind of screwed if they draw a counter spell, right? I just can play one of my spells. Oh no, I can play two spells, never mind. I, I get to untap. So I can play a five mana spell and then still like all right, they didn't find a counter spell anyways. So now it's pretty easy ECD. All right, ECD was pretty huge this game. I guess it was like a lightning helix. So maybe pretty huge is overstatement. I really don't want them to flip that search, right? If I can delay the search a tiny bit, I think that's good for me. Anybody into wine? I mean, I enjoy wine. I'm not really into like, you know, the science of wine or the or like which bottles and stuff. I know I know very little about wine, you know. 